Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your monthly love reading. This will be for Sun, Rising, Venus. Please keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. We have the Grail Knight with Perception. So someone's uh, finally understanding uh, that there is another perspective here. Seeing things very clearly for the first time. Uh, that possibly they've been going around about things the wrong way. Mistakes. I Yeah, I wish I could have right my wrongs and regret. I wish this never happened. Somebody's uh, definitely wishing that they would have done things differently here. Overall energy, we have Nine of Pentacles. This is about success, abundance, being able to enjoy everything that we've uh, set our mind to. Uh, being able to have security as well. All right, so let's see what's going on in your energy this month. We have Knight of Swords, Five of Cups, and the Four of Cups. So changes on the horizon here. Emotionally, um, I see that in the past here, you guys have been taken advantage of or um, misunderstood in some way. It almost feels like you're suffering in silence here. And uh, with the Knight of Swords, things become very clear to you uh, during this month. And you finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. So uh, don't lose hope as uh, things are about to shift in a new direction here. The wheel is constantly turning. For their energy, we have Chariots, Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. This person is feeling overwhelmed in their emotions, ready to take action, to move forward here. And with the Chariot, you know, this person is not focused on other things uh, that were not important to them, things of the past. Now they're focused on a new beginning and this connection. Tell me the Chariot. King of Cups, Page of Swords, they're learning how to follow their heart. Something that they've not been able to do in their life. This is a major change here with the chariot. So you've got them to see things differently in their life. How they approach situations as well as love. Uh, it's with the Ace of Wands. Death card. Yes, this is a major transition for them. Uh, taking on a new habit, a new way of looking at things. Five of Pentacles. It's already showing me that uh, they've not really thought that highly of themselves, that they didn't feel worthy of love in general. And uh, you've started to change their mindset on this. In the past, we have Five of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Moon, and the Sun card. So it was either hot or cold. In this situation, you felt like uh, there was no clarity. You couldn't understand certain things. Like once you pinned them down or uh, you really understood them, they would throw a monkey wrench in it. All of a sudden they would do something that they didn't say they were going to do and you were just caught off guard. Uh, almost shocked at uh, times here because it really hurt you, some of the things that they did or said. I see them withholding love and emotion. Five of Swords, Four of Pentacles, uh, holding back on purpose. Uh, playing this game here of uh, trying to see what is going on with you. If you are too good to be true or not. Uh, tell me about the Five of Swords. Knight of Wands. Magician. Yeah, they didn't want you to pin them down. They didn't want you to figure them out. The fact of the matter is that they started to fall in love with you. And they did not want you to know this at all. They were showing you this wishy-washy energy. And at times they would disappear, reappear. Um, and so unpredictable here of what they were going to say when they would return. You just felt like uh, this person was not ready to commit and uh, they were all over the map. Okay, so let's see the challenge. We have Queen of Pentacles, Five of Wands in reverse, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, sorry, Wheel of Fortune, yes. Uh, four of Wands. I'm not surprised with the Wheel of Fortune. This was a rocky roller coaster. It felt like from one moment to the next, things can change in such a drastic way that you weren't sure if uh, this person was going to just end things and you weren't going to hear from them, possibly ghost you as well. For some of you, they've ghosted in the past, but I see that they cause a lot of frustration and conflict. There was no stability in the situation. And even when they were communicating or they uh, met up with you. It felt like 
they were trying to cause problems, that they didn't really want to be there or they didn't want to talk to you and that you just didn't mean anything to them. Because I see with the Queen of Pentacles, they took so much. It's almost like they drained you completely. You were always there for them. And some of you have dropped everything at any moment uh, to help them, okay, and console them as well. Some of the Five of Wands reverse. Three of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. You're always left wondering, were they ever going to want to settle down, want commitment? Uh, it just left you in the wings here, waiting for answers, waiting for, um, you know, a conclusion to the situation. Tell the wheel. Lovers here are fonts. Yeah, it's like they, they were fighting against their, themselves, what they were feeling, what they wanted. Making the rules as they go, but I see that they were trying to think things through logically, not uh, let their emotions take control of them because they felt like they just didn't want to get hurt. This is not something that uh, they were ready to do in their life. Uh, and I see a lot of them, they just wanted to have what they wanted. Some of them, their cake and eat it too. But I see with the two of wands here, the decisions that they made destroyed uh, the connection and destroyed uh, some of you attraction that you've had for them and respect. And this is something that they realize now they've really got to uh, open up. They've got to reveal everything. They regret uh, what they've done, but they are holding a lot of guilt in here for the way that they treated you. Uh, tell me the two of wands. Queen of Swords, yeah. They caused you to put your wall up and try to protect yourself because you couldn't trust this person. They were all over the place. There was not one thing that they did that made sense. And they became very hurtful in the, some of the things that they said because it was callous towards your feelings and how much you've invested here. But I see that you just felt so drained. You got used up to the point where you just couldn't do it anymore. They were just constantly taking and taking from you. So what they're about to do, the Emperor, Six of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. So they're coming towards you in a completely different way. They're getting ready to take charge here. But this is about healing and uh, getting the love that you deserve. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, though, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.